Hi, my name is Dr. Rodney St. John, and today we're going to talk about emerald ash borer, or EAB. This is an invasive insect pest, and no other insect pest is, is, has the potential to drastically change the landscape like EAB will. This insect pest attacks and destroys and kills every ash tree that it finds. And there are over four million ash trees in the Kansas City area alone that are going to die from this insect unless they're protected with a treatment. And the treatment is a very simple treatment option. We simply drill some small holes into the base of the tree and the, and the treatment is injected right into the tree so it's not all over into the landscape. And the treatment has been shown to be about 90 to 95% effective when compared to untreated uh, trees. So here's an example of how effective the emerald ash borer treatment can be. The trees on the left side of the street have been protected from emerald ash borer and you can see they're nice and healthy looking where the trees on the right side of the street are unprotected and the emerald ash borer has infested these trees and they're going to die very soon. The problem is when you see the damage like you see behind me, it's too late. Once you see that damage, the insect has infested the tree too much and the tree can't be saved. You need to be proactive with your action plan and, and get on a treatment schedule before you see the damage. The problem is that most people don't know whether or not they have an ash tree in their landscape. There's lots of online resources that I'll put below that you can look to determine whether or not you have an ash tree. Or the simple thing would be do is to give us a call. For free, we can come out, walk around your landscape, help you determine if you have an ash tree, and help you determine whether or not that ash tree is worth saving. The other problem is that when these trees become infested with the emerald ash borer beetle, the tree becomes very brittle and it becomes a very big hazard in the landscape. And they usually don't die gracefully and it becomes hazardous to your neighbors or to yourself. And we really need to take care of these ash trees before they become too much of a hazard. If you'd like more information, you can always give us a call or you can fill out our form online or you can follow me on Facebook and I'll be glad to answer your questions there.